Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use Stacks Menu access, access Control Like module. So this module will help you to control the node access based upon the taxonomy term. So I will explain how to do it. You can uh, restrict users to view the node based upon the taxonomy term by using the role wise or by user specific, all those you can do. So let's enable the module and we'll see how to use it. Now the module is downloaded. I'm go to my Drupal instance and enabling the module. Enable the module. Now the module is enabled. Next, what you have to do, you have to go to the configuration of that module. So, now the module is enabled. Now you have to go to the configuration of that module. So TS Lite, click on configure. So here it will list all the vocabulary, whatever you have. So currently I have only one vocabulary. So I'm just making this alone enable for you. If you have a lot of vocabularies, if you want to restrict a uh, node only based upon some particular vocabulary, you can select only those. So here I have only one, I'm selecting one vocabulary here. And schema, you can keep any number of schema, how, how many you want. So one you can keep for view permission, one you can keep for edit permission, one you can keep for delete or based upon the role you can uh, have multiple schema for view alone. So whatever you want, you can have it. So I'm hiding one. And whenever you are enabling any module which is related to content permission, always it's good to rebuild the content permission. So I'm just clicking on it and enabling this. When you save the configuration, the content permission also will be rebuilt here. Once it is rebuilt, go to schema. So in this schema, I am going to uh, mention what type of schema it is. So this schema is view access. So I'm going to restrict the view by using this schema. The permission will be view. So apply to unpublished content. If the content is unpublished, uh, if you enable this for unpublished content also, if the particular user has access to view the node for the taxonomy term, whatever he has, the person can be able to see the node. If you uncheck unpublished content, for those unpublished content, the taxonomy access control will not work. For the published content, the taxonomy access control will work now. So <clears throat> scroll down. So here you need a tax. So let me go to the tag and add the terms here. Tag one. Tag two. Tag three. Okay, here I have created four tags. Just refresh here. Okay, so I'm going to fill the value view access. So this is for view permission. And then here, anonymous can see only the content with tag one. And then authenticated user, I'm giving permission for tag one and tag two. Content editor, tag three, tag four. And then admin. As always, you have to give all the permissions. 
And then if you want, you can rebuild. So just now I rebuilded the permission. So I'm now going to rebuild the permission now. Save it. So once you completed the setup, if you're coming here and if you're doing any changes on this configuration, it's always good to rebuild the uh, content permission so that your node access table will be updated based upon the current configuration, what you've configured, okay? So now this is done. Once this is done, what you have to do? You have to create a content. So let me add an article. So this is for tag one. Tag one, save. Content add article. Tag two. Tag two. Save. Content add article. Tag three. Tag three. And then again, add in one more article. So I'm going to keep two tags here, okay? So tag two comma tag three. Tag three. So we have created a full article content. Let me open the configuration first. So in content, you can see uh, these are the four content we created now. So let me open the configuration. And then go to people. Click on schema first. Here, anonymous has access only to tag one. So let me copy tag one, tag two. So tag two, this is, if you copy paste as anonymous, so you can see the anonymous user not able to see the content which is tagged for tag three. And tag one, this node, he will have access when you load. So you will be able to see the node is anonymous able to see it since we given permission for anonymous to view the content, okay. So next one is authenticated user. So let me check whether we have authenticated. Okay, we don't have. So I'm going to create an authenticated user now. Authenticated at gmail.com. Authenticated. Password. So just saving it. And I'm going to logging in. Slash user. Username, password. So let that log in. So here he will have access for tag one, tag two. So this is tag one content. So he should be able to see it now. Yes. And he have access for tag three two also. So this is tag two. He has access. And then there is a content called tag three. So when you load this as authenticated user, you can see access denied is coming. So this user doesn't have access for tag two, but he has he has access for tag two, not for tag three. So here we have created a tag two, tag three, both tagging content, right? So this user doesn't have access for tag three, but he has access for tag one, okay? So we'll see what is going to happen when we load this. Enter. So I think I didn't tag it properly. Yeah, so I tagged only tag three. So let me add tag two also here. Tag two, enter. So now this content is tagged for tag two and then tag three, both content. So now go and refresh. So he should be able to see the content which is tagged for tag three because he has access to view the tag two content. Okay. 
So this will be working like or condition when you have multiple tags. Now authenticated user is done. So next is content editor. So in the same way, it will work for content editor and then admin. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, in the same way, it will work for content editor and then administrator. So you can create a multiple schema here for edit or for delete or in new, you can have separate different number of numbers of schema. Whatever you want, you can do all this. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.